Hi guys, if you watched my radio control duck videos, you might recognise what I've got in the pack here. And if you watched the videos before that started, you'll know what this is all about. This is a Playmobil boat, a genuine Playmobil, not a knockoff. So it's got the slot on the bottom there that you can attach the Playmobil uh, motors to, underwater motor. They do a single one that just clips on there and it's got a rudder on the back of it so you can go around in circles or go in straight lines. Or well, they've got a bigger one that's a full radio control attachment. I think it's only 27 megahertz. can't remember now. Um, but yeah, you slide that on there and then you've got a radio controlled boat. So what I did a while back was designed a little clamp or bracket that will slide on there so I can do my own version. And on the radio controlled duck, which wasn't a Playmobil, um, I adapted that to clamp onto the bottom of the duck. So we had a radio controlled duck plastic duck before you get any funny ideas. So, because lockdown is easing, there is a chance we might get to a, a pond or something to put that in at some time in the future. So I thought I'd better assemble the bits. I uh, can't remember whether I've made the files public, but I will do after I've done this video. You have to get yourself some of these motors that have got the long shafts on them. We're not talking high power, we're not going to be um, making a speedboat here. But that one fits in there, that way up. Before I do that I've got to solder some wires on it. And the wires actually come out through those little holes there. So that goes in there and clips on and then I, I glue that so it's a permanent seal. Just trying to remember whether I've got it the right way around. Yeah, that is the right way around. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Ah, hang on. I've got a problem. I think. Have I got a problem or have I not got a problem? These motors have got the long shaft on the opposite end. That is a problem. So that goes on there to cover up that bit. Yeah, oh dear, hang on. I have to do a redesign. Because the motors I used before I've taken out of uh, some little battery operated toys and they had the long shaft at the other end. must have done because that definitely goes in that way round that's where that bit fits over the top and the propeller sits on there I mean it'll probably still work but that's not sticking out as far as it's supposed to it's supposed to stick out further Oh dear, I didn't notice that when I bought them. I've ordered the wrong motors. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, well, I'm going to have to go and redesign this. I mean, it's just a matter of in the uh, 3D editor, disconnecting that bit putting that bit on there, and then putting that bit. 
Yeah, the other way around. Oh, that's annoying. Right. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll stop this video. Um, I'll just do a close up so you can see the bits. So you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I didn't think to check that. But the shaped end there, I've made the shaped inside there so it sits in there and doesn't attempt to move round. And then in there is the right match to go on there. See that all clips together and then you glue it together. But that end is supposed to be sticking out there. And I've made that little hole for the wires to come out of the back of it through there and then up to the back of the boat. But that's all the wrong way around. That's the propeller to protector, obviously. Oh, how annoying. I thought I was going to sit here and spend five minutes, a bit of soldering, and we'd be up together. Instead of that, this takes about two and a half hours to print all those bits. Hmm. Right, I've had a change of mind. I'm not going to worry about the fact it's pointing the wrong way. I'll just put it the other way round in the boat or on the boat. So this will be the front instead of that. What it does mean, sorry, this will be the back instead of that end. Um, what it does mean is my prop guards, which are designed to fit on there neatly, don't fit on this side quite so neatly. There's nothing to stop them sliding on. So I might reprint them with a little bit of a bracket on them to hold them in place. I've got to re uh, go and print some propellers anyway because I thought I'd got some ready printed but these are the bigger ones I was using on other boats so they don't fit in there. So I've got to go and print some propellers anyway so I might as well reprint these bits. I've gone ahead and soldered up my motors so we can get them in position. position. You could, I suppose, pack it all with grease if you wanted to, because I'm not putting any water protection in here at all. That cap goes on the end there. Yeah, that should work. So I'll go and reprint those bits. Can you spot the difference? That's the original, that's the new one. All it is is I've put little bumps on there so we know how far in it should go before we glue it. I also printed off a couple of propellers. Looks like I should have done them on 100% fill. I've done them on the minimum fill and they're a little bit thin. 
It'll probably still work, but also need to drill them out a bit to fit on there. Do that in a minute. So, soldered them, push the wires through. We need to fill the gap. Uh, what have we got? This stuff's a little bit thicker. Okay. Quite a lot thicker, can't get it out. There we go. Just remembered I meant to actually test the motors before I put them in because having done all this it's a bit of a one-way trip once they're in there they're not going to come out again uh, right test them You probably see that these are ex Christmas lights. And a little battery would be handy. What have we got available? US It's very quiet, it is running. Uh, if I'd already drilled those propellers out, I could have put it on to show you. Let's, let's check the other one.
Yeah, they're both working. Just drill those out. Right, now because these wires are coming out the wrong end, let's make sure we pull them right back. And then they'll come through that hole there.
Uh, there's a little dimple on the top to remind you where the top is. Should turn the camera down a bit, shouldn't I? Pets just sit on there. In theory, you spray that first and allow it to dry. There we go.
Somebody will probably tell me I've put the propellers on the wrong sides because they're counter rotating. Counter rotating? Contra rotating. that lot. It comes in the back of there. Along with the battery and the radio control gear. So that goes onto there. And that lot all goes in there. Not the neatest way of doing it. Ideally, I'd have some loops there or something to hold it in place. But, uh, yeah, there we go. That's our twin motor adapter for the Playmobil. Not looking quite as neat as it should do because we have to do that bit backwards to the way it was intended. I've got two of these. If you've seen the previous videos, this one's missing quite a few bits. Like it's missing this front cover. But I expect I could 3D print that too, couldn't I? Probably won't be able to get a nice curve on it, but I should be able to work something out there. I think it has something up here as well. Well, I think it has a, um, well, a bit up here. <laughs> Those that go on the ends of these wires, so we can plug them into the ESCs. But I think that'll do for today. That's that was just supposed to be a, a five-minute job putting that together. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there, and you might like to subscribe over there.